Assalamu alaikum everyone, uh, this is Nuru Saba. So this is my second video. Um, and uh, today we are going to learn how to use the origin. And uh, there are two things I want to tell only in this video. And then we will be uh, discussing the other things in the next videos. So I want to keep the videos a little bit short. So you can just reference them and then go to watch every, every single thing separately in the future whenever you want to watch them okay so first of all so when you will open the origin you will see obviously that this is an untitled uh, project and then you can uh, use your project now first of all there are two ways to make data the one that you type usually this is what the manual uh, interpretation of data or you can just import the files so if I import, sometimes we have CSV or sometimes we have the Excel file. So right now I am going to do it for the CSV because this is the most common type for the importing data. So let's just import this data. And this is the dialog it opens for that how do you want to see. And if you want to see the result log output that for every action you do, in this the result log will show that what you just did and what did the program did for you then the file info it will just give you the file size and sort and then there are import options for example the delimiter that how did you put your data in your csv file did you uh, did you put the columns separated by a comma a semicolon or just a tab so if you don't know you just put it auto and then it will automatically add this to this one so if you see that we have this data imported already here but you see that the title didn't come here and the title came here so this is not a problem so we can do what we can do is that we just set as long name the long name is basically the title of this so if you had the units or something before this one so you can just add it here and then just set them later as units or comments and this and you can see already from the data that it just would show the spark lines of that how the data goes from values different values all right so how to import the data um, i will put a next video in which one uh, we will see that how we can make a histogram for that so that would be a follow-up video so for now the importing of the csv is this one so i will just show in a minute that we are going to assalamu alaikum everyone this is nuru Saba. so we um last time we were talking about i will post some videos um so today i am going to make a short video about how to import the files in origin so first of all if you don't have origin uh, and you want to use it so very first thing you have to do is to download i will put the link in the description this is where i find that how to download um, and install and activate the origin lab pro 2018 so i have 2018 version so you can also use this um, before it deletes right so the next thing you are going to do is that you have to after you follow the instructions from there they have a complete video about that as well you uh, install it and then you open the origin pro 2018 so at first it starts at the untitled um, uh, file untitled project which you want to do and then um, today um, we were just talking about how to import the files so first of all this new uh, workbook will automatically open so you just go to the file and press the import and which one you want to import if you have uh, the data in the csv file you just import from the csv file for example uh, i have a csv file here and i open it here so the import uh, will give you this dialog and you have to select that what you want to do with the options for example there are different types of csvs one which are separated with commas one which are separated with the semicolons or the tabs so if you don't know you just go and do it auto or if you know just select the one which one is your file about and then you press ok and you will see that this file 
has imported here. But you see that your title comes here also as the data, but nothing to worry about. You just right click here and say set as long name, and this will be came as become as a title. If you also have a um, let's say a row for units or something, you can also do it the same way. So this is the how you uh, do the CSV. Then you can just save your document and then do whatever you want to do or you just want to start your project from there. So Origin is very helpful in uh, making the diagrams and making this statistical analysis of the uh, data you have. And it will help you uh, develop a lot of skills um, by the time you start this. So this was the CSV file. When you minimize it, it will minimize right here in the same ground. And how you want to, if you have a lot of files and it will just bulge up, you can just hide the ones which you are working in. For example, here is the file which I am working in. And if it's bolded, that means it's open already here. And then you can just restore it by double clicking on it. Or you can just click this button to restore it. There is another way to hide this one. You just press the cross button and then just hide. So this will, you see now this is not bolded. So this is hide. So you just double click it and it will come again on the. So this is how you just in decrease the uh, crowd over here. And this is how you are going to. So this is your project explorer. This is the file name which you will give you to the whole project. So I will, for example, rename it. And then you can see that this is a folder inside and then you can rename the folder as well. So the file you want to rename will come from the uh, save project. When you save project, you can name this untitled. But for a folder one, you can rename within the folder. For example, if I want to say it the project uh, part one so this will save as a project part one if you want to include another folder which is the other part of the project you can just add a new folder there and you can just rename it again whatever your project part will be so this is for example project part two so this will be helpful in different kind of analysis if you are doing a different kind of analysis for the same data and another kind of analysis for the same data or if you have two different types of data for the same analysis you can use one and then two folders just to be sure that you are what you are doing in the um, project similarly there are many options to import already so i will also show you that how you can import a file which is um, an excel file so for example, if you have a new workbook and then you will import some Excel file. So this will import all kind of Excel files. If you can see, this is XLS from 97 to 2003 Excel files and then the Excel files after this one. So this is going to be um, very easy to do this kind of stuff. So I also go to the desktop. I have an Excel file over there and I just want to import it the same dialogue comes again and you can change whatever you want to see for example here it says the header lines the how many lines of header lines you have these are the header lines which means the title and unit and comments whichever is not included in the actual data values so you can set them here or just say okay and then do this for example now you can see the data i have just give them some space to show the values whichever they have and as you can see that this is my title so I will just put it here and say set as long name so this comes as long name then these are the units as everyone can see so you can just go to set as units and it sets as a unit now this one as you can see this centimeter minus two which means this was a, a power so you can just double click on it to edit it and select the power and you can go to the subscript to make it subscript so this there's an advantage in doing this one that when you are plotting these will automatically update in the plot so you don't have to write 
every plot that what value you are going to and what are the units with that so this will auto update once you have updated here so this is very easy uh, way to make the units visible in your plots Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to know anything else in the documentation or kind of uh, importing, then you can tell me. The next video will be about the histograms. Thank you.